This is a Bosch multi-tool. It's not just any old Bosch multi-tool, it's a broken Bosch multi-tool. Now, it's only a switch or something that's gone on it, so I'm going to have a look at it. It's only, it looks like it might be a loose wire or something, so I'm going to open it up and have a look at it. But before I do, the reason why I'm repairing this, and uh, it does work if you give it a tap on the side, the reason why I'm repairing it is that uh, I found we can get spurious blades for it. Um, a lot cheaper than the Bosch blades, which are not that good anyway, they're, they're not that durable, you only have to hit a nail with them or something and they're all dulled, even the ones that are supposed to be forced there, but, uh, and they're quite expensive, so uh, they really make their money, uh, the manufacturers of the machine really make their money on the, um, the accessories for the machine, the blades and the like, but they're an indispensable machine, because they're very good for cutting out uh, wall sockets or uh, cutting skirtings or something where, where they're on the wall where you want to get a clean cut with them, they're very very good for that. So there, there are some jobs that only these machines are really will really do well, and um, so I'm just going to show you now. Before I just open that up, this set of accessories is made for uh, is uh, packaged for Aldi, and. Uh, they had the foresight to make it, make these make these uh, accessories fit the Bosch. So the whole this whole set is twelve euros, and uh, you'll be lucky to get probably won't get two of them for that a uh, Bosch uh, product. So uh, that's the reason why I'm repairing it now because uh, you can get a spurious blade and uh, and uh, you know it's it's good value for money. Show you first what's wrong with it. It just might be a loose connection. There's the accessories by the way. You see there you have the Make to fit the brush. Just give you a full view of them all here. Three of them blades there, uh, wood blades. Uh, wood plastic metal. Uh, scraper blade. I suppose for taking out grout and the likes. And Sand. Yeah. Can't go wrong. That is a very interesting type of switch. The hell? Obviously, it hits this one here. You've ever seen that like that before? I don't want to switch that. I'll just I'll presume the spring's back itself. No? Oh no. The car catches in the middle. So, what's happening there? It's not quite switching the machine on. Fully up here. Very interesting, man. 
Yeah, that switch there. The usual type of switch there. Normally it's directly behind this section here. This part here runs along a simple switch here, look. And that's how it switches the machine on and off. It sits in the, the concave part, where I presume, and switches it on and off. Okay? Now we've got to find out how to get this to switch on. It's not quite going forward enough. Alright? Unless of course there was dirt or something jammed in it. There's no way that that PC ball could have moved. No, there's no way that PC ball could have moved. I'll let the switch itself and then sold it in. I wonder if it's just dirt jammed in the front of it here or something maybe. Very unusual that. And what I can do, of course, slightly out of place, let's say, so what I can do is, and the only way I can think of it, is if I fire a little bit off here, to allow the, the switch to move forward more. Take this out, and if I were to just fire a little bit along here, and a little bit in that section there, that would allow the to go forward a slight bit more. We have a little bit of slack up here. There's a little bit of slack up there but it's bottoming out here. So I might just take a little bit off that, just a fraction. See if that will cause, will, will, will help, will, will solve the problem. See there? Okay. Just a fraction off that. It's not a loose connection either, you can see that. It's just a simple switch on this here. We'll get a closer look at that. There's the switch there, see? It's a primitive kind of a system, isn't it? Now I'm going to take a foil, small foil here, and I'm going to just give that a bit of a rub there. And this, uh, this section here, I'm just going to give that a little bit of a rub as well. And it will allow them the switch to, to shift forward. This is the machine now walking again. Down. And again, these are the accessories. You also get 
a lot of a brace about it as well. Half a 12 euro and I'll fit the Bosch.